Now let's see how to graph exponential functions. So let's use uh, f of x equals 2 raised to the x power as an example. So 2 raised to x power. So let, let's think about, OK, there is no any restriction for x, so the domain will be all real numbers, okay, from negative infinity to positive infinity, right? No denominator, no even index roots. How about the range? No matter x equals positive number or negative number, 2 raised to any exponents is always a positive number, right? So the range is from 0 to positive infinity. So the graph of 2 raised to the x power will never, you know, have, uh, never intercept with x-axis. So no x-intercept. So now let's create a table, okay, pick up a few value of x and then evaluate y so that we can graph. Okay, this is x. So first column is the value of x, second column is Evaluate f of x equals 2 raised to the x power. <coughs> so if x equals a negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, let's just uh, choose this several value. <coughs> when x equals a negative 4, 2 to the negative 4 power, that's 1 over 2 to the 4 power, right? That's 1 over 16. 2 to the negative 3 power, that's 1 over 2 to the third power, which is 1 over 8. 2 to the negative 2 power, that's 1 over 4. 2 to the negative 1 power is 1 half. 2 to the zeroth power is 1. 2 to the first power is 2. And then 2 to the second power is 4. 2 to the third power is 8. 2 to the fourth power is 16, right? <clears throat> and then we create a rectangular coordinate system, x-axis, y-axis, that's the origin 0. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> All right, and then 0, 1, that's one of the point. And then 1, 2, right? One x equals 1, y equals 2. 1, x equals 2, y equals 4. 1, x equals 3, y equals 8. Okay, and so on. And then when x equals 91, y equals 1 half. When x equals 92, y equals, I'm sorry, equals 1 fourth. When x equals 93, that's 1 eighth. So it look like a graph. It's something like that, OK? Use a smooth curve to connect all those points. All right, so let's look at this is the accurate graph of exponential function. All right, so all the exponential function we can, we can tell is in this kind of shape, okay, but based on the uh, growth factor, okay, how fast it's you know, growing up, you know, it will be different, okay, as the base number uh, bigger, and then the curve is uh, more close to the y, okay, later we, we will see, okay, it's when the growth factor greater than 2, okay, and then it's more and more close to the y, something like that. So we can see uh, as x 
approach to the negative infinity. Okay, as x approach to negative infinity, and then the y more approach to zero, and then as x approach to the positive infinity, this is a negative infinity. Okay, one as x approach to positive infinity, and then y approach to positive infinity also. Okay, so that's why domain and the range we already talked about earlier. Domain is all real numbers, and then range is a set of positive numbers. No x-intercept, and then the y-intercept is 0, 1. And then the exponential function is all the way increase. Okay, it's a monotone. Okay, no decreasing part. That's why no local minimum, no local maximum. Okay, and it's not an even function, not an odd function either. So that's all the property about the exponential function. And then the previous slides uh, is talk about more detail. Okay. So that's the graph of exponential function. And then what kind of exponential data we see in our real life? Uh, for example, uh, the cell phone subscriber or Facebook subscriber, okay, and then cell phone subscriber, those grows exponentially, all right. Or another example will be the spread of disease, uh, like a COVID nineteen, okay, spread very fast, right? So, the the people get infected of the disease is grows. The number of people you know affecting disease grows exponentially. So that's the real life application of exponential data. And then this is a graph compares different uh, growth factor. What's the changing of the graph? Okay, as the growth factor increase, and then the exponential function's graph is more close to the y. That means you know as x increase, and then y increase more rapidly. Okay, because the growth factor is increased. Okay, so uh, if we say y equals 10 raised to x power, and then that will be more close to y. Okay, if we say um, y equals 2 raised to x power, and then that will be more flat than 3 to the x. All right. And a general property of exponential function, okay, f of x equals a raised to the x power when the growth factor is greater than one. Domain all real number range is a set of positive number or zero to positive infinity. No x intercept, the y intercept is one. Okay, and the uh, x axis is the horizontal asymptote as x approach to the negative infinity and exponential function when growth factor a is greater than 1 and the function is increasing and it's a one-to-one -one function. And the graph of the function always contains these three points. Okay, and the graph is smooth, continuous with no corner or gap. All right, this is a raised to the x power in general, okay, exponential functions graph. So what if the growth factor A is a number less than 1, but greater than 0? Okay, if that is the case, we can rewrite the function and then use the transformation techniques to get a graph. Okay, so for example, f of x equals 1 half raised to x power, we can write as 2 to the negative x power, right? So we know what's the graph look like for f of x uh, equals 2 to the x power, right? Earlier, we, we know the graph is something like that. And then now replace x by negative x, right? 
x times negative 1, that's reflection about the y-axis. So we can use transformation techniques to get a graph of f of x equals 1 half raised to the x power. Okay, just do the reflection okay, about y-axis. That's how we get f of x equals 1 half raised to the x power. All right, we can compare these two. This is the graph for 2 to the x power. This is a graph for 1 half raised to the x power, right? You can see clearly these two graphs, they are symmetric with respect to the y. And the same thing for y equals 1 over 6 to the x power. We can use the graph y equals 6 to the x power and then do the reflection about the y-axis. That's how we got uh, 1 over 6 raised to the x power. Okay, and the same as 1 third uh, to the x, we can use y equals 3 to the x power, do the reflection about the y. Okay, that's how we got these two graphs. So the property of exponential function f of x equals a raised to the x power when a is a value between 0 and 1. A lot of uh, common property, okay, as a greater than 1. So domain is still the same, all real number, and then the range is the same, a set of positive number. Okay, and then no x-intercept, y-intercept is 1, this is also the same. And then as x approach to positive infinity this time, and then the y approach to 0. So x-axis is still a horizontal asymptote, but now the direction is kind of opposite. Okay, so let's compare. This is one a greater than one case. Okay, this is the a less than one, but a greater than zero case. Right, so we can see for this one, as x approach to negative infinity, and then y approach to zero, right? For this graph, as x approach to positive infinity, and then y approach to zero. So their direction is opposite. And then another thing is different for a greater than one case, and then function is all the way increase, but when a is between zero and one case, function is decreasing, and it's a one-to-one -one function. One-to-one -one function, this part is the same. Right, but one is increasing, this is increasing, the other is decreasing. And then this property is the same, okay? The graph of function all contains these three points, and the last one also the same. The function smooth, continuous, no corner, no gap. Okay, so different one is three and four. Okay, one, two, five, six, the exponential function, growth factor, is greater than 1 or less than 1, greater than 0, they are the same, 1, 2, 5, 6, same property. The only thing different as growth factor less than 1 but greater than 0 is property 3 and 4. It's kind of opposite. Okay, this is the graph, general graph, a raised to the x power when a is a number between 0 and 1.